let's get started. I will be using a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. We're going to leave a tail of about 20 inches or 51 centimeters and then start with a slip knot. We can now chain 15. We will do half double crochet for all rows. We are going to work in the second chain from the hook and we're going to work in the stitch in the back loop or the bump of the chain. So just find that little back loop and put your first half double crochet. You can see the little bumps when you turn the chain. So into that back loop and half double crochet. We will do 14 all the way across. So this will be the last one, number 14. And there's your first row. You'll see that it has a nice finished edge at the bottom. We will then chain two and start our next row. Starting in our very first stitch, we're not going to go into where the space we normally do but we're actually going to work into the front of the stitch. So right in that front stitch there, we're going to put our hook and work our half double crochet. And again in the front stitch and half double crochet all the way across. We will do 14 half double crochet. You can check your work by looking at the other side and you will notice how it will give you the ridge. This is what the other side should look like. Once you have reached the end, just put it into that last loop there, finish your half double crochet, then you will chain two and we're going to repeat. So again, working in that front stitch of the half double crochet from the round below, we are going to continue this pattern. Repeat this until you have 16 rows in total. When you are finished, be sure to leave it about another 20 inches or 51 centimeters at the end as well. Your size should be about 3 inches by 6.5 inches or 8 centimeters by 17 centimeters.
With your darning needle, we will attach the two ends together to make the little cylinder shape. Fold together like this. And what we want to do is we want to have our pattern look like there is no seam. So we want that one top edge to be on the top to make it look like it, there is no seam. So putting them together this way, on the bottom we're going to go through both stitches and then on the other side we're going to go into that front loop just like we did when we were making our half double crochet. So through both loops on the bottom and then the front stitch on the other side. Continue this all the way down. Once you have finished, you will see that you can't even tell where our seam is. As you can see, we have both ends of our yarn on one side. So we're just going to take one of them and weave them all the way through, just so we can close the other end. Now that we have brought our yarn to the other end, we can just start cinching the end together. So we're just going to weave in and out, pulling snug to take the end together. So just little bits of weaving in and out until it's together. When you have finished the first end, you can tie a knot and hide the end. We can now use our stuffing to stuff the cactus. Weave the other end closed, but do not cut the yarn. This will be used to attach it to the pot. We can now start with our detail. Cut about a 50 inch piece of scrubby yarn or 127 centimeters. We will weave this in and out of the top part of our pattern. Take your time with this as sometimes it does get a little bit sticky. Leave a small end so you can tie it together with the other end. Another good hint is not to pull it too tight. Leave a little bit of slack in there.
Once you have finished to the end, just tie a knot and cut the yarn. We can now do the flower. Use any scrap piece of yarn. I am using a smaller 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. Start with the magic circle. Use any technique you'd like to make this. That works best for you. Once you've done your magic circle, do a chain one. We will then do five single crochet inside this circle. Pull snug and do a slip stitch to join. You will then chain one. In that same stitch, we're going to start with a half double crochet. And then we're going to follow this with three double crochet all in the same stitch. It's two, three, and then we're going to finish it with the half double crochet all in the same stitch. In the next stitch, we will start with a slip stitch and then do the same pattern. Half double crochet, three double crochet, half double crochet. Continue this until you have five petals. Finish the round with a slip stitch. Leave about a 10 or 15 inch tail and cut your yarn. We will now attach our flower and also attach our cactus to the pot. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please watch to the very end to find out some great ideas about the cactus. Thank you for watching. Have fun. Bye.